Hey, hi YouTube. This is LaWanda getting back with you. Try to get in a good light area. Um, just uh, go on my um, three month, it is, yeah, link check. And um, just show you, I just did my hair because I'm going somewhere. So I did these are flat twists. So I'll zero in on that. I'll get some pictures of it, but that's the front. And that's the back. See if it'll pan. Okay. So, that's my hair. And, um, get over here where it looks remotely better behind me. I don't know, my gray smoky gray walls don't seem to transfer good on on um on video for some reason but oh well um just doing my link check and by the time i remember it, i was i have fin did half of my front of my head and y'all know i'd be talking about how hard it is for me to do my hair but um i'll pull one hair up some hair up and that's the top and um and then this is the bottom the back it's down here and so what i did was with my hair i put in the shea Mo shea butter moisture cream and um and then i did the flaxseed hair gel and I did the flat twist and detangled along the way so next time i do this i will detangle before <laughs> but I was just bound and determined to get this done um before I go away go out of town tomorrow going to Orlando but um so that's my hair and it's growing my daughter said oh mom your hair is getting long so I know you can't see a lot of it but sorry about that but I had to strike while the iron's hot, you know, because I never know when I will feel good enough. And then in the back, I tried the shingle. That was my version of shingling. Um, hmm. Hope it looks better than it. It seems like to me. It just seems like shingling does nothing for me because um, my hair doesn't curl. Sorry if I'm moving too much. And my hair doesn't curl like others do when they shingle. And so so I won't have white hair. I stop putting in the gel. Um, but um, that shampoo I was had told y'all about in the last video of this, you know, the ultimate shampoo and conditioner and that's homemade. Um, I still love it. I used it today for the first time I did the shampoo and the wash and I was blown away. About how soft my hair was when I after I washed it, and it's nice sometimes when you're in a rush to just throw that joke, get under the sink, wash your hair, put some conditioner in it, and go. And uh, I didn't have to do the conditioner because I do the shea butter moisture cream, but I did it just to see, you know, how it feels. Uh, without it, um, my hair seemed to dry faster. Could be because I was sitting in the ceiling fan. <laughs> But anyway, so that's my length check. Um, sorry, it's not a full length check, but I'll put some pictures at the end since I did take, you know, about an hour or so to do my head. But I like it. It didn't take as long. So I'll keep trying to shingling, but for right now, I don't get curls. Not like everybody else. I can feel them, but they don't want to show themselves. Because the tips of my hair are, they're kind of like a, a flower. My hair is like a it's you know it's crinkly at the root and then it's straight and then the tips are like poof like an open flower like a daisy or something it's weird so it's like I have poof balls at the tips of my hair and uh, my hair knots up at the tips it's only tangled at the tips and I, now I can see why so that's my hair and promise the next link check will be um you know some loose hair showing so but it's still really short in the back 
as you can see, just really short on this. Same like this side is shorter than the other. But it comes cap just past my surgery scar. <laughs> That's a funny uh, reference point. But hope this holds up for, you know, some few days. I like to wear it through the weekend because it's so purdy. But, um, yeah. Later on out. Bye.